Hi everybody, welcome to Saturday Live at the Backyard Bird Center. I promised today that we would talk about the upcoming Great Backyard Bird Count. That what this is, is a great example of what we call citizen science. And that is the avenue in which you and I can give back to the birds that we love. You know, there are a lot more bird watchers and bird feeding people and bird nature enthusiasts out there in the world than there are biologists and especially ornithologists that uh, monitor bird populations. And information is critical for these wildlife managers and, and, and to, to make decisions and, and to get information. A, a prime example would be this year because in the fall it was so slow at bird feeders people were very very worried about where their birds were you know where are all my bluebirds where are you know where are the goldfinches are really late this year well one of the great things about citizen science and doing things like project feeder watch and this great yard uh, the great backyard bird count which has really grown is that we can get a snapshot of where birds are all over the planet and the, the scientists can take that data, analyze that data, and look for trends. I've always said, if you see me do, talk about anything when it comes to bird populations and wildlife estimates, you know that we can't say that there are 27,733,000, you know, uh, just numbers like that, of chickadees or cardinals or anything. What we have to look at in bird populations are trends. And that is getting these numbers every year up or down, it, it, it can tell us. And when we get a snapshot, like the Great Backyard Bird Count, there will be people counting birds all over the planet in that one day. So scientists can get a snapshot of where po bird populations are. So, the, for example, this year, if, if bluebirds have shifted south, I did talk to a person from South Missouri who said there are bluebirds all over South Missouri this winter. Whereas in this area, we the Christmas bird count, so there were very few bluebirds in the area compared to normal. So getting people out there with eyes and ears and getting that data written down or typed in and sent in to uh, the, the people who keep up with that, they can watch these trends and they can get our bird populations, our bluebird populations really down this year or did bluebirds just shift this winter to a more southern location. So that's the beauty of citizen science. Now, a lot of people jump to the conclusion, oh, well, I, I'm not worthy. I, I, I don't know birds well enough to, to, to put numbers down and send them in. Yes, you are. Believe me, all numbers count. All numbers are good. We just don't want to overlap numbers. So if you're just counting in your backyard and you're you know, submitting that data and they make it so easy for you to register and then you can uh, enter it on your phone and send it to them you can enter it on your laptop your your, your desktop your computers it's just so easy and if you just are comfortable counting the birds at your bird feeders that you see every day and they have lots of identification help available to you and that is you know you're you're probably going to mainly see like i said the birds you're going to see every day well this count has also grown that if you want to go out and take a hike and count birds that day you can submit those as well there's all kind of, there's parameters for you on the app that you send that in it's going to ask you how many miles you traveled and or and how many people were counting birds and you know that that kind of thing and now that all that data and all that information helps them to get that that one view that one day a year now project feeder watch goes on all through the winter and that's a great uh, citizen science effort as well but this is just this one weekend so that you, and it's four days, so you don't have to uh, overcommit to a whole lot. And all they're really asking you is at least to count birds for at least 15 minutes on one day of those four days would help. If you, but if you want to count eight hours, if you're going to sit there and watch, you know, they just ask you to record the, you know, the, the amount of time that you did count. Um, and it said if you're traveling or, you know, if it's nocturnal birding, if you're birding at night, they want to know that. If you're trying to uh, count owls, things like that. So there are different ways to break the information down, but they make it so easy for you. And it really is a fun activity. And we hope that you can participate because you guys, you know, 
you're a source of invaluable information and it like i said all over the planet we have people the numbers keep going up every year the number of people that are participating in this event but it is coming up the 18th to the 21st of february i want to do this program today so you could have some time to go in look things over maybe look at some of the resource materials they provide for you and get ready to do the bird can get your, your feeders good and filled and or like i said if you just want to count the birds in your yard with no bird feeders you can do that too then you can submit the numbers so um hope you participate it's a great program love it's been going for years i've watched it grow over the years and it's amazing how many people are participating and the numbers are staggering worldwide so it's a fantastic program hope you can get involved it's a great idea for a program thanks for we'll you know talk about something new next week uh, give us a like give us a share until then come by let's talk birds